hello and welcome back to my channel it's always my pleasure to connect with you and host you in this platform and i hope you had a great week because i did even though it was busy in work as a healthcare worker you never get a rest uh, i'm grateful to have a job because some people are staying at home because of this covid situation so gratitude giving gratitude is a good thing so you sh should be grateful that you started your weight loss journey and i am so happy for you and i'm super proud of you do you know why i'm proud of you because the comments are showing me that you are digging this like you got this you are going through with your weight loss journey and it's going it's a sailing ship not a sinking ship so it's a good thing and a bravo keep it up so we continue with our spring series and uh, today as we go along i'm going to share a very very nutritious and interesting recipe is i used to say i hate meatballs but after this recipe i think i changed my mind i do love meatballs <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I told I hate meatballs, I sit meatballs somewhere and they kind of turned me off. And whenever I think of that place, my friends are laughing right now because they know which place I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I, I said I hate meatballs, but after this recipe, I'm like, okay, no, I give it a second thought. So I love meatballs. I retrieve my statement okay before we go to the kitchen I want us to discuss five habits that are keeping you stuck in a weight loss journey and the first one is the one that we were taught by our great grandfathers and grandmothers breakfast lunch and supper breakfast lunch and supper are not mandated you only need to eat when you are feeling hungry I understand that family meal times is bonding time but you have to <laughs> you have to cut across like the kids they have to get their meals on time and their snacks and everything else because their bodies are still growing but as for adults honey, you have grown like your body doesn't require so many calories anymore you can create other activities to bond with your family but meal times make it a priority for the kids because they're still growing i remember back in the days when esther used to follow us in the playgrounds with a stick in the evening to collect us because if like the kids they are playing non-stop because their bodies are well able but these days I don't even need Esther to get me home I'm home before noon if I'm not waking late I'm home before noon I'm, I'm, I'm time for a nap this is how we gain weight like we are super inactive when we grow older this leads out to point number two no one to say no okay I had this habit before I started my weight loss journey I used to eat and eat and eat like I'll fill my plate up to the brim and then I'll level it up like I'll leave nothing in the vicinity if you're feeling full stop eating point number three when your body is tired it goes to sleep in the evening or night time so refrain from eating heavy meals when you're about to go to bed that's a bad idea because remember what I said before when you are inactive and you consume calories that stored at first that's why your waist is getting bigger when you are about to go to bed do not eat heavy meals like you can eat a heavy meal in the afternoon that's totally fine as a healthcare worker I eat late sometimes but I make sure that whatever I eat is very light so that I won't starve through the night. So make sure whatever you eat is not too heavy. If you want a snatched waist, 
do not be eating heavy meals in the night time make something light like for me when i finish work this is my excuse i finish work late sometimes i arrive home around half past the night in the night and a bit hungry not very hungry so i would make toast with avocado and eat it or i'll have some lentils like half a cup this is what i do we're going on to point number four do not snack yes do not snack i don't snack myself because whatever i eat is sufficient to sustain me throughout the day once you know what your body needs you wouldn't want to snack anymore because your blood sugar stabilizes once your blood sugar is stabilized you are going to be knowledgeable of what to give your body so that you won't have to snack in between last on the list we have smoothies I know smoothies look so glamorous on Instagram and social media in general, but honey, don't be fooled. Unless you are using bolts or some athletes, active person, don't be consuming so much calories at one go. If you are not active and you are consuming a smoothie, you are fooling yourself because you are consuming excess calories. How much do you need to prepare a smoothie? You'll find out sometimes you need a whole banana and banana, we all know that it contains a lot of calories. You will use one whole banana, you use uh, pineapple, lots of sugar. You use strawberry, it's fine. To have strawberry but on its own it's okay it's low sugar you are going to add a bit of kale you because you are feeling guilty you want a bit of green or spinach you're not training vigorously do not consume smoothies because excess calories are stored as fats i will always repeat this and so your weight loss journey will remain stagnant you will see no progress so unless you are a very active person i mean super active do not take smoothies or shakes it's as simple as that so this is the end of our class but we still have a new recipe to grasp in this video so i'm going to share with you a very beautiful kuje or zucchini recipe with meatballs which i mentioned before that i didn't like but i love them now because of this recipe so i'm going to show you step by step how that is done make sure you like this video and give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends so that they join the weight loss journey movement if you are ready let's go to the kitchen and see what's cooking hello welcome to my kitchen so in today's recipe we are using three main ingredients which are ground meat we are using beef but you can use any other minced meat like uh, pork you can use turkey you can use uh, lamb whichever meat you prefer or if you are a vegetarian you can use uh, shredded mushrooms or tofu the other thing that we're going to be using is zucchini so if you don't have a spiralizer is a spiralizer? yes to make your zucchini into spirals you can use a knife but it might take a bit longer just to make nice thin cuts Without any further ideas, let's get cooking. I'm using around 300 grams of ground beef, two to three zucchinis, a zest of one lemon, some cherry tomatoes, basil leaves, and four cloves of garlic, some toasted pine nuts, and cream fresh. Or you can use any heavy cream for cooking. 
I'm also using Kujun spice. I'm using as usual my black pepper. I love black pepper and pink salt. And I'll be using some oil throughout the recipe. So you are going to season your meat. So I'm using Kujun spice and uh, some salt and black pepper and then you are going to mix and adjust the seasoning according to your taste you're then going to wash your hands and roll your seasoned meat into meatballs you can make the size of cherry tomatoes or any size that you prefer make so they're nicely shaped <laughs> we don't want ungodly things so make sure they're very presentable you're then going to need a baking tray so you're going to put the cherry tomatoes drizzle them with a bit of oil and shake the tray a little so that they're nicely covered with oil you also pop in your garlic cloves and put this in a preheated oven for 12 minutes don't overcook the cherry tomatoes and in the meantime we're going to cook the meatballs you're going to fry the meatballs so in a pan you're just going to drizzle with a bit of oil and you put in the meatballs you're going to fry them until they are nice and brown our cherry tomatoes are done so you pop them out of the oven and you're going to take out the garlic cloves and then gently scoop out the meatballs into the cherry tomato and then you're going to cover this with a foil to keep warm next we're going to zest our lemon and uh, also spiralize the zucchini i ended up using two zucchinis for my recipe because they were a bit bigger but if there are small ones you can measure out how much you need to use so you simply make spirals out of this this is very good alternative if you like pasta like me this is what you can use for say you want to make uh, carbonara this is what i use for my carbonara dish and also any dish that requires a spaghetti this is what i use it's gorgeous you are going to use the back of the fork to gently mash the garlic cloves because when they are roasted they come out so nicely and they give out a lot of flavor so we add in our cream fresh and you can use heavy cream like uh, coconut milk but it won't be as creamy uh, you can use heavy heavy cream that's good this is the part where you need to be very careful zucchini doesn't need to be overcooked it's like 30 seconds max not even a minute just 30 seconds is all you need and I'm just going to add more cream to make it like nice and moist and creamy as you can see so 30 seconds is all you need on the stove and then you set it aside and add the rest of the ingredients like the cooked meatballs the cherry tomatoes I forgot to put in the <laughs> lemon zest this is where you put the lemon zest as well and put the basil leaves you put in the pine nuts and leave some for garnishing you're then going to gently mix everything up combine the ingredients look at all the color popping i always get so excited when i see all the colors 
and uh, mm, the kitchen is smelling gorgeous so as you can see you don't have to overcook zucchini it doesn't have to be cooked just 30 seconds and your dish is ready i hope you like today's recipe and do give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also share it with your friends who are also inspired to take action regarding their weight loss journey and also today's shout out is to a special lady by the name of Ita Simon whom I got the pleasure to work with she is so amazing she is super inspired by my channel and thank you Ita for choosing this channel for your weight loss journey and she's always always trying the recipes that i share in this channel keep the comments coming and uh, make sure you leave any suggestions in the comment sections as well so that i know what you would like and uh, yes i'll see you in the next video and uh, it was nice to hang out with you and until then ciao Bye.